Hi, in this video lecture, let's see how to perform subtraction using R minus 1's complement. We are given two numbers, M and N. Both are N digit unsigned numbers in some number system R. And we are trying to perform M minus N. So, since N is positive number, minus N is negative number. So, we can say this m minus n as m plus minus n. So, m minu n we represent as such and this minus n we represent using r minus 1's complement. So, m plus minus n in r minus 1's complement. When we rearrange this, we get m minus n minus 1 plus r power n. Now let's consider two different cases. One is m greater than or equal to n. In this case, when we perform m minus n, the result is going to be positive. So m minus n is positive. When you add a positive number to this r power n, this is going to produce a end carry. Why? Because, because this r power n in any number system is 1 followed by n zeros. And this n minus m is positive. So, this will produce a n carry. So, when we discard this n carry, what we are left with is m minus n minus 1. So, to cancel out this minus 1, we have to add plus 1. So, instead of discarding the n carry, we can add that n carry to this m minus n to cancel out this minus n. And we get m minus n which is the required operation. The other case is that m is less than n. In this case, we are trying to subtract a bigger number from the smaller number. So, what we usually do? We subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and append a negative sign in the front. Right? So, we, we just rewrite the same thing like this. r power n and minus 1 minus the bigger number n minus m and we are adding the minus sign in the front. So, this is actually what it is the r minus 1's complement of n minus m. Because when n is large and m is small, when you perform m minus n, the result is going to be negative. And the negative numbers we will represent using complement notation. So, this is actually representing r minus 1's complement of n minus m. To know the result in a way that is familiar to us, just take the r minus 1's complement of the sum and we will get the result and append a negative sign in the front. So, let us take an example. We will consider x and y in binary number system. X is actually representing 84 in binary and Y is representing 67 in binary. And we are performing X minus Y. So, X we will write it as such and minus Y we will represent using 1's complement. Just flip the bits of Y to get the 1's complement. So, 1 will go to 0, 0 will be represented as 1. And we will add them together to get this one and see here we get a end carry. That means that when we add x and the ones complement of y, we get a end carry in the 8th bit position. x and y they have only 7 bits. The end carry is in the 8th bit position. This we will add it to cancel out the minus 1 introduced by the ones complement of y to get the actual answer and please note that there is a 0 in the MSB that means that this is a positive number and this is actually plus 17 16 plus 1 is 17 when you subtract 67 from 84 the result is actually 17 if we do the other way that is y minus x y is 67 and x is 84 and we are trying to perform 67 minus 84. So, y we will write it as such. x we will flip the bits to get the ones complement. Then we will add them together and note that there is no end carry here. 
and there is 1 in the MSB. That means that the result is a negative number. Negative numbers will be represented in the complement form and in this case it is 1's complement. To interpret what the number here is, we will just take the 1's complement of the sum. So flip the bits in the 1's complement, we will get it here, get like 0, 0, 1, triple 0, 1 and we have to append a negative sign in the front to get the actual answer and this is actually minus 17. So, this is how we perform subtraction using 1's complement and from the uh, examples we can understand the advantage of using the complement notation for negative numbers because we are actually adding the complement representation of the negative number with the minuian. We are not actually subtracting anything here. So, I can make use of make use of the logic available for addition to perform subtraction as well. So, this is the advantage. I need not have a separate logic to perform subtraction. In the next video, we will discuss about the binary codes. Thank you for watching the video.